So Shinobi's walk gonna fall a porcupine. We are gonna become a doctor. Believe it or not, I was once in the same position. Oh, hold on. Uh, Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. Contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. Do that. But yeah, at one point in my scholarly career, I, I you know, this was the path that I was going to take. I'm not really a doctor, but, you know, medical-related pharmacy only lasted about a semester but still i have some kind of idea of what's going on we're dying we just started the game oh okay oh we're walking maybe it was a blackout hello anybody that I know I'm a doctor and not a biologist, but I don't think trees and grass work like that. Hey, Finley, you're finally awake. Okay. Oh, it's square to continue on, not X. That's weird. Uh, why the long face? I don't know, man. Just woke up from a coma. I just wasn't expecting to run into my house plan. Who did you expect? Your washer, maybe? By the way, we got to talk about her. The way my pot, wait, what? Talk about who? The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. Oh, he's talking about the washer. Oh, okay. My bad. I think I'm looking for some. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea. But it was important. And I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course. Come on. Relax. Just take a look at this meadow. Bask in the lush grass. Soak up the sun and grow to the soothing tunes, dude. Is he a hippie? It's good to be out in the sun, said no gamer ever. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh, yeah? Wait a minute. Oh, is he about to jam out? Oh, never mind. He just pressed play. Just let your leaves dangle. Just let your worries take a hike, man. Yes. Yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Lost things just turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home, my man. I might. I'm going to have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to pick my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. Thanks, man. Oh, okay. Well, hello there, hombre. We meet again. How's the relaxation coming along? I just walked two feet, man. So what are you going to do now? I don't know yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him? That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since I had aphids. Is that like a STD for plants? How is he doing all this? Do hippies have this kind of power? How'd you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. Yeah, I can tell. Like I said, didn't study to be a doctor, but I'm pretty sure this isn't what doctors do on a daily basis. Are you down here? Whoa, isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe have you seen it? No response. How rude. It is a statue, man. And you, you know, I think he forged his diploma. I think Finley here is a fraud. He paid his way through the system. Because how are you a doctor and you don't know what a statue is? Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, finally, dingly, dongly. All the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This place seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange thoughts, mister. So, have you found what you're looking for yet? Nope. But I don't think I'm actually looking for some. I'm looking for someone. Well, congrats. You found someone. Your very best flower, buddy. You just 
told me you don't know who I am. How are we friends? Oh, wait a minute. Can we go down here? No. Okay. I wanted to grab that bucket. Oh, it's a bouncy house. Can we? <gasps> I think we can. Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to have this much force. Um, all right. It look, I mean, these look like chairs. Who lives up here? Probably the damn hippie flower and how high he is. Ingrid, nice to see you here. Do you happen to know where... Where Mr. Arndes is? Mr. Arndes, I was looking for Mr. Arndes. He's a patient of ours. And he disappeared. I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndes. Otherwise, something will happen, hun. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndes. Oh, this is gonna take a turn real quick, ain't it? It's all happy fun times when you're high, but then when reality sets in. Why does it smell like blueberry pudding in here? Yeah, I... I don't know. I have lots of questions too, man. That's not one of them. What the f... I like how our eyes glow. Hello? Mr. Arndes? Can you hear me? Bro, if something happens to your patient... Pretty sure you're fired. Hello? Someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh. <laughs> there, there's someone back there. Mr. Arndes, is that you? That's not blood, is it? Okay. Um, I think we're fired. Mr. Arndes, you're bleeding. Don't move. What? Who? Who are you? Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Block it! Damn! Oh! It was just a dream. We still have our job. So we got our work app. We got some notes. Help. What do we got in notes? Mia is the overachiever. Carl. I don't even know what that is. Is that a cotton ball? Okay. Carl is like the golden child. Everybody loves him. Ingrid kind of sounds like a gamer, but with a job. Krokowski. Oh, he's definitely Russian. Oh, she. My bad. Oh, yeah. She run this hoe. With a name like that, you got to. None less. Sick. <laughs> No help. Feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleep altogether. No, nope, that is terrible. You're a doctor. You should know that. Hell yeah. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in the one-on-one -on -one biking battles. Figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Bad chance. Haven't touched this thing since I moved in. Giving up games to save lives? Not me. What the f- You changed that quick? That's crazy. Oh, you can kind of like float. Holy shit, I just grinded that. I love this art style. That's really what caught my attention when I was just scrolling through the, the store. Was the art style and then kind of reading the brief description. Kind of felt like Mutazon where it's just like real laid back. It's more of like a story and unraveling the things that are going on. And I really like Mutazon so I was like, you know what? It is perfect. Someone seems to have set up a fishing spot here. There's a note on the camp chair. Dear readers, time and place are two loose threads that don't always come together. Some call it destiny. I call it chaos. Order. Life. And you, seeing this note right now, are part of it. Consider yourself lucky. But please don't sit in my chair. <laughs> I'll know right away if you take my place. Alright, man. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Home to an evil clown with terrible halitosis. I like that reference. You know what would be crazy if like a balloon started popping up? Missed opportunity. Wow! I like trains. Oh, hello. Okay, you don't want to talk. That's cool. We all got places to do, things to see. <laughs> Morning, Finley. Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah? I know what you mean. Most nights, I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream that I'm running, just on the spot, for no reason. That definitely comes from work. I heard Louise Colbert having trouble sleeping too. 
It's worried about the store. People just don't buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining. Less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm finished already. Just wondering, or just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should. Post myself to the hospital, that is. Are we keeping tabs on people? All right. So the top is like your old school town and then the bottom. Oh, hey, kid. Road's still closed. All right. Well, we're going through old town. I'm guessing the bottom is like a garden or a park. Man, look at that view. It's so clear. You can see the glow milk woods from here. Are there like ruins and stuff in there too? That's crazy. I don't know why, but it gives off like the feel of San Francisco. You know what I mean? Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? No. Oh, hell yeah. Look at this name. Guliano. Everything good with you? I'll be all right. Yeah. I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold drink? Just come by anytime. Thanks, Guliano. I might just take you up on that offer. Oh, he runs the pub, right? Yup. Or the bar. Same shit, different toilet. Oh, that is the fountain. It's a statue of Ninoslav Horonatis. What a freaking name, dude. Founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? It's probably just cold, man. We got bears here, too? This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked, too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure, perhaps? A dead body? Oh, that's some weird foreshadowing. Maybe even 10 dead bodies. Bro, say something else. <laughs> Is there a uh, super secret alien technology inside you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the greatest questions of the universe. Come on, reveal your secrets. It's probably just like a food truck, man. That's just the whole ass fridge stuck on the side. All right, what's in the distance, buddy? Not gonna tell me? Sick. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav Horonatis, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for a hundred days. He founded the town and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. <laughs> what a... You walk around for a hundred days trying to find a place to stay you finally find a place to stay you build the house you you yourself built it with your own hands you don't have the keys <laughs> oh that's the sign for the hospital okay whoa the statue's out here every day kind of how statues work it's never complained how do you do it you know just have a heart of stone before we go in is there anything over here oh parking yo Who's got the damn DeLorean? Should really get to work. Okay, fine. The, the ability you have to just change clothes like that. How? Hello, Ingrid. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? My injury is healing up nicely now. Heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Sure, we're already late. Might as well be hella late. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times, and it all makes sense. So, what's your theory? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. Ghost? Klutz. Oh. Okay, thanks. Damn, this hospital is huge, bruh. Oh, uh, hmm. enough slacking around. Let's get to work. We're taking the stairs. We're on floor three. Here we go. Plus, I ain't trusting this elevator. Caused us an accident. Hey, there's the team. Ah, Finley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. Is that sarcasm? I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're... Her <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. Let me guess. The bus didn't come? Hey, man. Not my fault, all right? I'm here. I used whatever powers I had, which were my legs. There was not too much trouble. 
We'll start our rounds in room 301. Good morning. You're very late today. Uh, you know, Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. Oh, we're releasing her today. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real person, or the real reason, was a sharp pain in my heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain, I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any idea? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. And, uh, yes? An ulcer? Stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer? Bingo! What? Okay. How? The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gas gastritis. Yep. Or anything along those lines. Okay, Ms. Martin. We'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check your readings again later. Just try to relax. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. How how did you guess a stomach ulcer from heart pain? Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay. Doktorski? It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? That's right. Careful. Oh, you coughing. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. Can't skate that well. I just got the board for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and the grip tape is all black and brand new. I don't care. Tell me why you're here. It was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. You know, don't think there's a correlation with that. Uh, it's all part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette, and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then, all of a sudden, couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get any air. Then, passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. Holy shit, your bill must be incredibly high. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? Well, uh, he's probably got smoke in the lungs, man. Asthma. Could have been an asthma attack. Ah, okay, yep. I I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. You probably shouldn't be using stroke, but, you know, keep doing your breathing exercises, but don't overexert yourself. You got it, Doc. Okay, last stop for today, room P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arndes. Oh, no. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arndes is an old-timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't the best of shape anymore. So act accordingly. Oh no. Time to face our demons. Everything will be just fine, Mr. Arndes. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. You can rest assured of that. Is that his lawyer? Ah, Dr. Krakowski. Nice to see you. Good morning, Mr. Hedrick. To what do we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Arndes, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yeah. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance... Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably going to be a pretty penny if they win this case. Let's not forget our junior doctor here. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a victim too. Do you not see the band-aid? Great to have you back. Truly. I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody at St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula itself is responsible for this incident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. 
have arranged for Mr. Arndez to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there, around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Oh. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Doc. Really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndez's condition later today? If you can discharge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of your time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a successful day. Thanks, man. Yes, anyways. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndez. Well, what are you doing here, then? I'd like to find out how you're doing. Take a look at your dressings. When's lunch today? <laughs> my man, asking the important questions. Finley? Hmm? Yeah? Mr. Arndez suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Jeez. Finley, would you be so kind to change Mr. Arndez's dressings? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndez if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. All right, I'm doing it. I'm going to change your blanket, old man. Do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident. Do you remember? I want lasagna today. <gasps> Behold the salad. Hell yeah. The only green we want is the green in our pockets. Ain't that right, Mr. Arndez? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndez. Now let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Okay, you are no fun. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the button shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the button shown on the screen. Be as quick as possible. Don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. Oh, boy. All right. We got this. We got this. We've gone to school for this. Oh. Okay. Oh. Are we good? I don't... Um, this this is what we're supposed to do? Please? <laughs> the dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. I'll be back to you later to check your ratings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Doc. No, no, I'm not a doctor, just an absent-minded old fool. Okay, he's not talking about you. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Mia Finley? Come with me, and I'll give you your task for today's shift. You okay, old man? Are we good? Yeah, I think he's fine. Where are we going, Mia? Nowhere? Okay. All right, well, I think this is a good spot to go ahead and end off. We've kind of gotten used to our daily task and stuff. The doc is going to give us our actual task for the day, and, you know, we'll see if we can save lives, heal people, hopefully no more accidents, and, um... Maybe a big bag from the insurance claim. <gasps> Hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode, though. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Sub, click the bell icon, follow me on Twitter. Let me see in the comments all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see y'all in... Holy shit, I grinded that. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>